Thanks, Rex. Well, action, action here at Voyage Taylor Camp. That elephant wants the other one to go back in. You heard that, didn't you? Go back in. That's what I heard. Now they all look like a, young, a group of bulls here. I think there's a few more elephants a little bit more to the left here down stream. But you don't often find a herd, breeding herd of elephants going into the water and swimming. And it's not that it doesn't happen, but <laughs> this kind of behavior is often boys. Boys behaving badly. You'll see though when they all come out if they are indeed boys or not, but I do believe the ones that we see swimming are indeed boys. They love it. And imagine weighing quite a few tons. And suddenly you're weightless. <laughs> now have a look how the spine bobs up when the elephant is swimming. When they're in the water, their spine always pulls itself back up to the surface. The lungs are attached to the spine. Evolution adaptation for when the elephant was probably once more of an aquatic animal. And so it keeps them buoyant. So when you weigh an enormous amount and life is constantly about gravity and moving your weight around, being very light and buoyant in the water must be such a thing. I did a, a flotation not long ago, December, basically go into this tank that's full of salt water. The salt is so highly concentrated that you can't sink and you just soak. Beautiful light and wonderful music and you just sort of lose yourself in the flotation experience. Obviously the body, the skin is the largest organ on the body and absorb all of those salts in. Just missed him big. Yeah. So the hippo is also, he's saying, I want to be part of the show too. He just did a big yawn and he's staying very well clear of the elephants. Come on, give us one more. Illegal, it is, it's at its brim. At its brim, it's quite something to see, and it's still overflowing on both sides. Hmm, I kind of feel like I could do the dip now, BK. The sunshine is quite warm on the damn wall here. Mm -hmm. He's trying to break some soil off the bank. Oh, we've had a great rainy season. I'm not gonna lie. It's been really great. I'm glad that it's not raining now. Our cars still have a bit of a damp smell to them. Everything got very saturated. It's gonna take some weeks, if not a month or two for the seeps to stop flowing. Oh, Beaks, can you see that guy on the left there? He's, uh, he's scratching his foot. He's got a foot scratch. He's found a nice pole or stump. Of course, he stopped now that we're watching. Back foot, he's going to lift his back foot up there, is he? 
just trying to coordinate himself. Scratching. No. Well, there we go. <laughs> JD, it is icing on the cake, isn't it? I've never seen elephants swimming in this dam. Prydens, it became quite a thing. They would swim. We'd find elephants swimming nearly every day. I remember talking to some of the students at Eco Training and going, oh, the elephants are swimming. They're like, yeah, oh, we've seen it before. Up until I got to Prydens, probably on two hands in my career, I'd counted elephants swimming. In the Prydens, well, we were seeing it every day. He's having a good scratch. He's having a good swim. Oh, lovely.